name is Andy McDonald. I'm a disease ecologist, and I'm getting my PhD at the University of California in Santa Barbara. For my dissertation research, I'm studying Lyme disease in California and the factors that are limiting Lyme disease incidence in the Western United States. In the upper Midwest where I am from, and in the Northeastern United States, Lyme disease is of great public health concern. Lyme can be a debilitating disease causing symptoms from arthritis to chronic neurological problems. Lyme disease is vectored by the black-legged tick which transmits the Lyme bacteria from one host to the next. It is the most common vector-borne disease in the U.S., with the vast majority of cases occurring in the Northeast and Upper Midwest. This is curious because the Lyme-carrying tick, the Lyme-causing bacteria, and competent hosts like deer and mice are all present in California, yet human cases are rare. The goal of my research is to disentangle how environmental conditions such as temperature and rainfall interact with tick activity and host availability to limit Lyme disease prevalence on the West Coast. This information will not only help California protect the important ecosystem services that are keeping this debilitating disease in check, but will also help to identify the critical differences between the Lyme disease systems on the East Coast and West Coast that are producing the large disparity in disease incidence. This information could be vital to controlling Lyme disease on the East Coast and in the Midwest. The first step is to determine how abundant the ticks are and how prevalent infection with the bacteria is among ticks and common hosts like mice. This fieldwork is relatively low tech with the largest cost being travel to and from sites. It involves a technique called tick dragging. I drag a piece of white flannel over the ground which ticks attach themselves to. I then remove them and put them in vials full of ethanol to return them to the lab for analysis of infection. I will also be using these live traps to capture small mammal hosts. I will collect tissue samples from these animals before releasing them in order to analyze them for infection. My research will explore the effects of ecological factors like the time of year that different tick life stages are active, the abundance of different vertebrate hosts, and climate variables like temperature and precipitation on Lyme disease risk in California. I will also explore the effect of human behavior and activity patterns on Lyme disease risk which is not well understood and could play a key role. As you have seen, my field work is relatively low tech. My lab work on the other hand is not. This is where your support will be integral. I will need to purchase primers and reagents in order to analyze tick and host samples for infection, as well as purchase medical biopsy materials in order to collect those samples. This lab work is critical to the success of my project. Without it, the fieldwork tells us relatively little about the Lyme disease system in California, and without your support, none of this will be possible. I want to thank you for taking a little bit of time to learn about my research, and to thank you in advance for your support and help in studying this debilitating disease.